Yeah. So but it'll be I'm, interesting I'm to see. I'm still, I'm still looking, like, even from a Kerry's per- perspective, I'm going to harp on here, like, they still haven't, like, they ha- still haven't played, like, they, don't get me wrong, as you said there, they put away the weaker teams like no other, like, you know, in terms of they really, we, as, as you said there, once they get a run on yeah, you, they will absolutely go to town, yeah. But look, at obviously the Mayo result, the Cork result, um, the league campaign, I still, look at I still wouldn't rule out if they got, a, it depends what, what team they get. In the in the core final here, I'd be interested. Look at against the top team. If they beat a top team in the core final, well then, fair enough. I am wrong, but um, it'll be uh, yeah. I look at. I'd be interested. Look, I saw it against Dublin. Obviously, that killer instinct is coming back to them. I saw them against Kildare. Obviously, Sligo are uh, you know a, a weaker weaker team, um, and they look at uh, Colin Basquale played very well for them. Um, their their benches, you know, the, the three or four good lads coming off the bench now. Cormac Costa was missing as well, and again. They're going to be obviously look at they're my pick for the All Ireland. I think that Manuel was coming off the bench as well. Uh, yeah, he's small, started like they've they, they've just I see, yeah. uh, McCaffrey as well to come back like they look. I I think I think there could be just one more one more All Ireland in this group, uh, and I think they'll 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 be gone for a few years. But I I, could be I totally not gone. sure. I'll tell you why I'm not sure. I just think if they come up against a really really well organized team like Derry, for example, defensively. Uh, yeah. Or Galway, you know, someone like that who are really, really organized. I think that they have a lot of players at the minute who are just maybe not as in zinc and as systematic as the previous group, you know, were under Jim Gavin. And I still think they make some fucking sort of mad fuck decisions at times to end on the ball. They really do. They take some wild options at times. Now, don't get me wrong, they were the the, the put Slago, you know, away quite comfortably on Sunday. Uh, but, but you cannot read anything into that, you know, and the only thing it'll probably allow them to do is, is maybe train hard this week again, you know, and, and prepare obviously then for, for a quarter final. But look, Dublin and Crow Park can never be ruled out, can never be ruled out. But again, they have shown glimpses of inconsistencies as well this year, Andy, you know, and I know they had that blip against this common, the bounce back against Kildare, but it's hard to know really and truly where they're at until we see the quarter final. I think after the, the, the more, quarter final, you know, I'm, no, no, go on ahead, go ahead. The, the more the more you're talking there, the more I, I'm sensing you could be going for a Derry Derry All Ireland uh, championship. One hundred percent, one hundred percent. I'm going for Sam to come back over the border, back over the border. Hey, hey, seriously, seriously. No, I, I just going? have a funny feeling. I have a funny feeling that there's going to be and it, and the and it'll send the nation into fucking meltdown when a team Munster wins it. All this, Jeez. you know, the negativity of the Browns Ulster teams. You know, I'll tell you, it'll be it'll be class. It'll so, be class. It's not just Ulster teams. It's not just Ulster teams now with the negative football, by the way. But I don't know. Go on. No, I'm only, I'm only just... keeping you going. No, listen, I do. I have a, I have a sneaky feeling. I have a sneaky feeling that, like, look, and. Uh, it's like anything, you know. You you know yourself. Sometimes you have to get there before you, you can get over the line. And Derry had that bad experience last year of the semi final. I think they've matured as a team. Um, you know, obviously the, the the whole Gallagher thing. Obviously, in the middle of the season, they've obviously, they've obviously have a very mature group of players who were able to deal with that, move on, and and keep producing those performances, which is testament to the group of players there because it shows that they're a very mature bunch, you know. Um, and obviously, you know, obviously, Kieran Mina has slid in there. He's been around. He's 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 a, he's a very very astute coach, and you know that's been a smooth transition for them. Uh, so so for me, you know, Derry Derry will not be far away. They'll they'll get an opportunity now to to get a bit of work done over the next few weeks. Yes, there's question marks over. You know, I, I heard. I can't remember what pun that it was, but someone talked about, oh, you know, my worry is that they've only got Shane McGuigan. But the fact is, they should be delighted that they have Shane McGuigan. You know, there's a lot of counties would love to have Shane McGuigan. So I don't think that's a negative. I see that as a real positive that you get a marquee forward because that marquee forward can actually distract the opposition's best defender and maybe a plus one as well. And that frees up other opportunities for a Niall Lachlan or an Ethan Ethan Doherty or Connor Glass to come late or, you know, uh, you know, or Paul Cassidy or whatever's playing a great season at centre half forward. So there you have it. Even McFall now is back in the rack and he's playing yeah. closer to goal. McFall's a very, very they're a very strong, powerful, athletic player as well. So, yeah, they'll not be far away, boy. They'll not be far away. And again, it depends on the draw. You know, if Mayo come out of this yeah. or Galway come out, no one will want either of those two teams. You know, none of the even Dublin, they'll not want a Mayo battle with Mayo. They'll not want a battle with 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 uh, Galway. But if it's a Kildare or a Cork or possibly. You know, a Donegal, then you know most teams would be sort of rubbing their hands, thinking, "Yeah, yeah, we'll we'll cope yeah. with that, okay." You know, particularly those four quarter finalists. But I think whoever, no matter who comes out of the draw, and uh, 
I think the four quarter finalists are, are probably going to go into the game as slight favourites, depending on, on, on obviously what comes out of the Mayo Galway game, you know.